of a bill um, and just read the title of it, and that was it. All right. That's what happened. And then they vote. So there's no testimony or anything. It is exactly 9 o'clock. I'm on time. So we're going to open up the hearing. Pardon? Don't leave first. Yeah, well, you want to do the pledge? Oh, okay. That gives the other members a, a few seconds to get here. Senator, would you uh, preference? Yes, I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. I stalled for 30 seconds. All right. So, uh, right, right there we go. That's great. Welcome, Senator. To grab a seat. Susie, Senator Susie. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Um, so I uh, recognize uh, Senator Sharon Carson uh, to introduce a, a bill, and I just want to remind everybody uh, that there is a deadline, which is the sixteenth. And uh, everything has to be signed off, all paperwork, all everything's got to be signed off before 4 p.m. Nothing can go after that. It's going to be absolutely uh, strict on this. So 10 minutes before 4 o'clock is not acceptable. Um, Senator, could you, Mr. Chair, could you please announce the date? Yes, February 16th. Okay, thank you. Um, good so morning, Mr. You. Chair, and good morning, fellow members of the Rural Committee. Um, I would like to file a late bill, and it is entitled An Act Establishing a Parent's Bill of Rights in Education. So, thank you very much. Well, thank you for that detailed discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Any comments? Seeing none, thank you, Senator. Thank you. All right. I recognize Senator Bradley. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Hope everybody enjoyed bagels this morning. It was great. Um, I, too, would like the support of this committee to file a late bill that deals with the first in the nation primary and the seating of New Hampshire delegates. Thank you. We appreciate that. And with that, timing is everything. We have, uh, recognize Senator Lou D'Alessandro. The Dean. This is easy. That's great. Thanks, Steph. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman and distinguished members of the committee. Uh, I've got a couple of things that uh, I, I'd like to bring before rules to see if we can get them uh, put through. One is an act for pre-hospital treatment and transportation for police canines called Max's Law. And uh, it's, uh, it, it's a, a situation where we, we, want these, we want these canines to be able to travel uh, with the, the person that they're protecting. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's, uh, I've, got a, I've, I've, I've got a fairly substantial backup piece that I'll leave for you, but I, I think it's, uh, the, the, uh, the bill was at the request of, uh, of Stephanie Shaheed, whose daughter has one of these uh, guide dogs who's with her constantly, uh, and uh, who's proved to be uh, just uh, an unbelievable asset in terms of moving her, her forward. And the second one I, I want to uh, ask uh, for your permission is, DOT has a surplus. Uh, I think that that surplus should go back to the communities the way we sent money back to the communities in the last session. We sent 60 million back, 30 million for bridges and 30 million for roads. I'd like to follow that same process in that uh, I think many of us have been driving for a long period of time, and we know the condition of the roads and, 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 and bridges, and there's a, that there's a deterioration that's, that's taking place because of the rough winters that we've had. And in some instances, because of the amount of, uh, the amount of sand that's uh, 
that's put on the roads. The, the, the roads are falling apart. And we were, we were noted for, for black, black roads when they came into New Hampshire. And we're, uh, the basis of our economy is visitors and visitors using our highways. So it seems to be a, a, a good way to, to spend a surplus. So those are my two asks, and uh, thank you very much for taking the time to listen. Thank you, Senator. And uh, you weren't here when I was, read the uh, announcement, but uh, the committee uh, has a deadline for all the late bills to be on Thursday, February 16th, no later than 4 p.m., and they're, they're not cutting me any slack. So it's got to be completely done. All amendments, any language, dot periods, and signed off by 4 p.m. Okay, great. Not, not, not a problem. I'll be very efficient. <laughs> Oh, we appreciate that. <laughs> Questions from the committee? Seeing none. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Uh, are there any more late bills to be introduced? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> this is happening. You, you are recognized for your late bill. Oh, my. Yeah. Right. We heard you coming. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Should I do it from there? You can, yeah. And uh, I'll uh, read you the script that it was given to me to read in highlighted yellow. The committee sets the deadline for everyone on, on that February 16th, 4 p.m., all bills have to be signed off, completely done, all periods, everything punctuated, no later than 4 p.m., February 16th. Try not to do it 15 minutes before because it'll be a problem, but you are recognized. Thank Great. You. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and colleagues. I apologize. I was at... Greater Manchester leadership, um, but I have two bills to offer today. Both are conceptually very simple. One deals with the tipped wage. Uh, there was an issue that some of our restaurants were, I think, acting in good faith but had a problem with. They've reached an agreement with the Labor Department. This just memorializes the agreement and statute to make sure that everybody has the same understanding. The second one is actually a constitutional amendment. As many of you recall, we came in the Wednesday before the governor's inauguration. And everybody said, why are we here? What are we doing? The fact of the matter is the only reason we were here is the Constitution says we have to be here to canvass the votes. Well, we all know the process of canvassing the votes really isn't an extensive process. <laughs> a committee is appointed. We walk to a corner and say we're going to canvass the votes. Sorry. So this would combine that Wednesday activity with Thursday. Wonderful. That's it. Yeah. Any discussion? Seeing none. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. And now you can take your place to vote. Uh, uh, any final bills? Going once, going twice. We're going to close that. Is there not a motion to the exec? So moved. All in favor, say aye. Aye. And opposed, seeing none. Is there a motion? Should we just do it collectively? Or do you want to do them individually? Individually. So we'll take up Senator Carson's bill, number one. So I move to pass. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Seeing none. Senator Bradley's bill. Uh, I'll have to pass. Okay. Discussion? I should have said that on yours as well. Seeing none. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Seeing none. Senator D'Alessandro's bill for the canine uh, mobile unit. Aye. Discussion? Seeing none. All in favor, say aye. aye. Any opposed? Seeing none. Senator D'Alessandro's DOT surplus bill. Pass. Second. Discussion? Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Seeing none. Senator Susi's bill on um, tipped wages. Pass. Second. All, all, uh, discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Seeing none. And finally, Senator Susie, Bill CCR. Uh, CCR. See, yeah, that one. <laughs> Second. <laughs> Discussion? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed, say none. Well done, everybody. This is like clockwork. Great. Uh, is there a motion to move out of exec? Second. All, uh, discussion? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed, saying none. Thank you. We are adjourned. Go upstairs. Yeah. <laughs>